Sometimes when you're working with map layers, you'll want to change field names. So the name of columns. In this case, we've got a city name column, we've got a state name column, and we've got a state code column. But the name for the state, that field's called name underscore two. The state code is just called code. I want to change these. There's a couple of ways we can do it. The first is if we double click the layer, that's got the fields we want to change. We can go to the attributes form section. Now if I go there and click on the name two field, in the alias box, I could type in here state name. And I do the same for code. I'll put an alias in and I'll call this state code. And I'll click OK. And then if I open the attribute table, we can see the column names change. Now that's just an alias. It's not permanently changed the field name. So if I go back to that, I'll double click it again. Let's delete those. Okay, so I've deleted the aliases and I'll open it up. It's back to normal. So we didn't actually change the field, but that's sometimes a useful way to do it. It's very easy. If we want to actually change the field names, it's quite simple. We double click the layer to open layer properties and then we go to fields. Now here, to change the name two and the code column, we just need to turn on editing. So I'll click on the editing button and I'm gonna double click where it says name two and I'm gonna call this state name. And I'll hit enter. And if I expand this, you can see it's changed it. I'll do the same with code. I'll double click it. I'll type in state code. I'll hit enter. And then I'll stop editing by hitting the toggle editing mode button. QGIS asks me if I want to save the project or save the layer, sorry. Yes, I do. So I'll hit save and okay. Now, if I open the attribute table, we can see the new state names and these are permanently changed field names. So that's how you can change field names in QGIS very easily.